Hi there guys, Johnny Rose here and I've got some really interesting news for you today because I don't know if you've heard, but as of today, GrooveSell, the ClickFunnels alternative, are offering their platform, or specifically two modules from their platform, that's GrooveFunnels and GroovePages, so the two core parts of the GrooveSell platform, they are offering it for free for the duration of the covid 19 crisis by which I mean not that it will only be free for that duration but rather they are offering free lifetime accounts if you get the deal using the link just below my video if you just look in the description there is a link right now click through and access it this is a time limited deal where you can get groove pages and groove funnels completely free this is a complete ClickBank alternative and it's a ClickFunnels alternative. Now, this isn't just cheap software trying to compete with ClickFunnels or something. These guys have done over $175 million in revenue. This is a real competitor to the ClickFunnels empire. So if you're looking for something cheaper than ClickFunnels, I was historically a ClickFunnels user. I had to also give out $97 every month or $297 if you go for the higher package. You can now have all the functionality of ClickFunnels without any of the expenditure using the link just below this video. I'm going to take you in into the dashboard so you can see what Groove Funnels looks like, so you can see what Groove Pages look like. And then I'm going to hand you over to a demo from the founder of Groove Sales so you can actually see a really detailed look, a 40 minute demo into how you can create your own funnel. But all you really need to know is on this sales page by just clicking through the link below this video now. I mean, have a look at it now. Now free, the most powerful sales and affiliate platform. No credit card ever, I've signed up, no credit card was needed. There are no upsells, no downsells. You get enterprise software for free. If you get this link now before the coronavirus uh, pandemic is over, there's no better way to sell digital products. I mean, this is a really, well-known brand, like I said, a ClickFunnels alternative. And this is what you get, everything you need to sell products and services online. There is simply no platform that can match our features, speed, ease of use, and of course, value. So look, here's what you get. Unlimited products and funnels. With um, ClickFunnels, you're limited to three on your own, you know, with your own domain name, or, you know, or 20. If you go for the, the higher, you know, the higher, account purchase here it's unlimited flexible pricing structures one click upsells dynamic thank you pages use your own paypal stripe no monthly fees zero transaction fees it's just free this is a really robust tool for you to build sales funnels host e-commerce pages build entire websites if need be to sell and build your own e-commerce or course or info product empire so let's jump in now again just click the link below if you want your free access it won't be there forever so get it now whilst you can free forever it's a brilliant brilliant offer and so once you um once you click through you'll be taken through to well, i guess you'll be taken through to this dashboard excuse me i was just having a little look around saying so this dashboard you can see all of their products that they have and again the two products which you will be able to access is our groove pages and groove sell oh sorry groove sell and groove pages so we'll look at um let's look at groove pages first i guess so with groove pages these are landing pages that you can create really beautiful and neat landing pages so here are some look at this imagine starting with something as really neat and this as this this is your really basic kind of landing page you know you can have a picture of yourself there a really clear call to action download your pdf buy my product reserve your course if it's a webinar you can have a video here that sort of thing here's another version you know these are really quality landing pages and this is what you build with groove pages which is one of the other uh, you know one of the two products which are available for completely for free forever now imagine just building really f free things using these templates right now really great really easy here's another middle page you know when someone buys something and you want to upsell them or bump them up with something else imagine you've bought them on the course and you want to sell your book or a content item well you have templates like this and there are tons of templates in there i saw there are at least like 40 or so that you can use so this is brilliant really great landing pages that you get for free hosted for free monthly for free no transaction fees if you click and sign up using the link just below this button now and sign up to Groove Sell now. And then, so the second product you get is Groove Sell. 
Now, Groove Sell allows you to build e-commerce portals, e-commerce websites, e-commerce funnels, where you can sell your products exactly like in the same way as you do with click funnels, where you present them with page after page, with different opportunities, with bump ups, with dynamic thank you pages, with pop ups, all that functionality you'd expect from something like a click funnels, you can get here for free with this Groove Cell link just below this video. So you know you go here, you uh, you know you create. So I haven't created a, a funnel yet, but you can go down here. You create, you know, I'll ask you to create a product funnel. You know, I started a test funnel. And you can see here, like it's really robust. There's reporting. You can set up programs for affiliates. Let's have a little jump into my test funnel now and see what I got. So create a new product funnel. So Johnny's test two name Johnny by now using link below. Hint hint. See below. Create product funnel. Not more. And I'm editing that. And here's really what I wanted to take you through just so you could see the journey. Now I'm going to hand over in a moment to the actual founder of Groove Cell to take you through this more in depth. But I just want to show you just how robust this is. You start with the info of your product, you set the pricing, you set your payment gateways, you do the contents, you know, the copy, then there's the checkout, then there are bumps. If you want to bump up pricing or change it, then there's fulfillment. You can connect to integrate to lots of other fulfillers. If you don't want to do it yourself, you can create a funnel, sort out an affiliate program, create proof and testimonials, then you finish. My point is, this really is an end-to-end e-commerce, affiliate marketing, funnel creator, website solution for free. Now, I'm going to hand you over to the founder now for a demo, a 40-minute demo of Groove Cell to really take you through it. But I mean, there's everything you need is really here for you to see, for you to understand what's on offer here. You're getting a really powerful landing page creator, a really powerful e-commerce website builder with all the functionality you'll ever need for free. Unlimited products, unlimited funnels, powerful checkout options, one click up sell, zero transaction fees, no monthly fees, it's all just free. And it's from a proper robust software provider. So get involved, click that link, stick around if you want to see the demo, but otherwise all you need to know is just click the link below, go through, sign up, sign up. Even if you don't use it now, you may want to use it in the future. So thanks a lot, gang. Stick around for the demo. Johnny Rose from Push Button Profits alerting you to the most important free offer that's available right now for internet marketers. Go get it. Hi everybody, my name is Mike Fulsame. I'm co-founder of Groove Digital. Today I'm gonna to be making a video to show you the Groove Cell Beta. Okay, so let's get the first thing out of the way. What is Groove Cell? Groove Cell is for digital marketers and infopreneurs to sell digital products, the how-to products. How to lose weight, coaching programs, how to do Facebook, social media, real estate investment, cryptocurrency, you name it, health and wellness, real estate, how to save money, you know those types of things, right? You're selling digital products like eBooks, home study courses, webinars, personal development, health and wellness, coaching. We would compare to anything where you could sell digital products, Infusionsoft, Entreport, Kartra, or one shopping cart, Pay Kickstart, Samcart, Thrivecart, etc. We're also a great alternative to things like ClickBank, Warrior Plus, and JVZoo, because we don't charge any transactional fees for your processing. But we do wanna be very clear. This is not a cart for e-commerce. We already have a company that does that and that's called GrooveCart and competes with Shopify. So if you're looking to do physical products, import things from China, sell print on demand or drop shipping products, you're much better with something like an e-commerce platform like our GrooveCart or Shopify. Again, this is for digital marketers selling information products. Okay, let's take a quick look through the dashboard. Uh, the first thing you'll notice is down here, this is where you can switch to the different brands. We have Groove Pages and Groove Cell, and Groove Mail is coming late spring, and Webinar Groove is coming late summer, and Groove Cart, again, as we were saying, is for e-commerce. But today we're gonna to be focusing on Groove Cell, and we're already inside that dashboard so let's just go over what we're seeing here in the navigation. First thing we want to go over is your GrooveSell account works very similar to like a ClickBank account, 
means that when you sign up, you are both a vendor and an affiliate. So anything that has to do with being an affiliate is down here and you will be able to click on marketplace and see different vendors and their stats and how they're selling in the marketplace and one click be able to opt in to their affiliate program. And here you click on your promos, that's your promotions. That's where you're gonna manage any of the promotions that you currently have going on. You can see pending payments and how much money you've owed, what's earned, how much you've been paid, etc. And that's all here. And then bonuses, this is something you can manage where you can add a bonus, upload the download files, promise people a bonus, and then when they buy a product from a vendor on GrooveSell, they will automatically be fulfilled your bonus. But more on that later. Today we're gonna to be focusing mainly on the vendor. Uh, so again, when the home button here, that's where you can go to the vendor dashboard or the affiliate dashboard down here. But let's focus again just on the vendor dashboard. Over here is your funnels. This is where you're gonna create your product funnels. This is where you can do coupons, uh, get tracking links and page tracking, manage sales tax and self billing. Uh, over here is where you can look at all of your affiliates and you would click here and you'd get a list of all your current affiliates. I'm in a demo account right now, so they're not showing any. This is where you configure settings for your affiliates, like how you pay them and different things like that. And this is who you owe and what you have to pay and who you've paid in the past and things like that. And then over here, this is your analytics. This is where you're gonna see all of your sales, all of the sales made by affiliates and a list of the transactions. So if you just wanna manage refunds and things like that. Okay, so let's get to the fun stuff. Let's create a product funnel real quick. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is click on product funnels. We'll close this tab. Now we don't have one, so we're gonna create one. And I'm just gonna give this an internal name. This is the main groove cart site. And we'll give it a description. So let's just paste in a description here. The number one e-commerce platform. We click create product funnel and we're all set. So that's just the name of it. So that would be like the main name of your brand or your product. Like for us, we would have one for GrooveCart, one for Groove Pages, one for Review Trust, one for Free Page Builder, anything, any one of our brands, we would create the funnel here. And now what we need to do is we need to create products, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a product and we're gonna walk through a wizard that's gonna walk us through everything so let's get started okay so for the product name we're going to call this remember the other one was a, a funnel but we're going to call this groove cart i'm going to copy that there and i'm just going to put here let's see this is again another description unique for the product for the customer so we'll put that there and now i can choose whether or not this is a front end or an upsell or a downsell we're going to choose front end for now and we're going to click save and next Okay, and now you can see we have one price point that I can name anything that I want. So I'm gonna call this the trial, okay? And let's just call, give it, I'm, just to make things simpler, I'm gonna leave the descriptions the same as you know, the, the names, okay? And this is the default, and this is gonna be recurring. And this is a dollar trial at $99 a month. So let's enable the trial. We're gonna make it a $1 trial for 14 days, okay? and we'll change that price to $99 and we'll make that monthly, okay? Now, uh, I wanna add a second price point, so I just click on new price point, and just like that, we're gonna call this the monthly plan, okay? And we'll keep this a little simple like this here. Now, this is also recurring, but it does not have a trial, so this is just gonna be $99 a month, like that, okay? And let's now give an annual plan, we're gonna call that annual. Okay, give it the same description. And we're gonna make that recurring price here, 497. It's a pretty good discount for our annual. And I selected yearly, which is off the screen there. You didn't see that uh, based on the size of my uh, screen crop here. But, so it's 497 a year. Now let's just give you another example of something we could do. I might have this thing I'm gonna call the Black Friday sale, right? And that description might be a deal that we're giving, just an example, we're not, right? But just showing you that if this is your product, you might do this for 397 yearly. <clears throat> Okay, now I'm gonna just show you just like one more price point that we could do 
Um, let's say that we were doing something and we just wanted to do uh, an easy payment plan, right? And I wanted to do something like uh, three easy payments <clears throat> of 197, right? I would do three monthly payments and now I've just created uh, an installment plan. But that doesn't bill annually, so I'm not gonna do that. That would be a one, you know, that would be fixed. But what we're gonna be doing soon is gonna allow you to check off this recurring installments. And what that would do is that'll allow you to break your annual plan up by saying three installments of 197 monthly. And so to give you an example, if they chose that in January of 2020, they would pay 197 in January, 197 in February, 197 in March, and then that's it. And then the following year, they would then pay again 197 for just three months. So it's kind of like breaking the easy payment plan into an annual program. But I'm not going to put this plan in. That was just for demo. So anytime that we want to delete something, we just click the trash button here just like that. All right, let's go on next and set up our gateways for this particular product. We're going to click save and next and what we're going to see over here is we can get a merchant account if we don't have one or we can set up uh, our payment gateways the gateways that you can use are paypal stripe braintree authorize.net and nmi and of course if you sign up with a merchant account with us with GroovePay, you'll be happy to know that we integrate with authorize.net and nmi but Let's just focus on our gateways that I've already set up. So if I don't want to take PayPal, I just go to credit card. And if I only want to take PayPal and not credit card, well, then I don't add any gateways here that I've already configured. In this case, I want to do two, but I want to show you something really cool, how we can rotate mids or rotate PayPal account or rotate credit card account. So let's start with PayPal. And I've already connected three of my PayPal accounts to the system. So I'm going to add my PayPal Groove Cart. Now I have a PayPal account for Groove Pages as well, and we have a PayPal account for Groove Digital. And what I can do here is I just have to make sure these numbers add up to 100, or if not, it gives us an error. So my Groove Cart account is really seasoned. So I'm going to give 70% of my business to the Groove Cart account. And I have a Groove Pages account, which is pretty good. It's processed some good numbers. I'm going to give it 20%. And then you guessed it. This is a brand new account and we're going to season it slowly and give it 10% of all the customers that choose PayPal. So what this is going to do is every time somebody chooses to pay with PayPal, 70% of the customers are going to get this PayPal account, 20% will get this and 10% will get this. So if we were to process $100,000, this account would do 70,000, this would do 20,000 and this would do 10,000. It's a way to load balance your accounts and not put all of your eggs in one basket. Now, if they choose credit card, now we have multiple credit card accounts and Stripe accounts. So watch this. We have a credit card for GroovePay uh, account. We have a credit card account with, auth with for AuthNet and one through NMI. We also have two Stripe accounts. We have a Stripe account with GrooveCart, a Stripe account with GroovePages, and we got approved for a Braintree account with GrooveCart. Now, I would never do all of this redundancy load balancing, usually maybe two uh, merchant accounts and maybe a Stripe account, but I'm just gonna add them all, right? So let's start with our Stripe account here, add our second Stripe account. Then we're gonna add the Braintree. And now let's do the first credit card here, the second credit card, and the third credit card. Okay, now what we need to do is make sure that all of these add up to 100. Now, I'm not a big fan of Stripe, so I'm gonna just leave my Stripe accounts here at 5%, and we'll give maybe 10% to Braintree. So that's 20%. So that means I've got 80% left over to go over here. So I'm gonna give 50% to this one here, and 20% to this one here, and 10% here, okay? And if we add that up, we have 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. So I've got a perfect rotation of all of my mids. So again, what that means is if a customer chooses to pay by credit card, they will never know. We will take their credit card information and we will rotate based on these values, what percentages of the sales will go through these accounts. So if for any reason I was to lose this PayPal account, 
or this Stripe account decides that they want to give me a 25% reserve. Well, then I can just delete this or reset these numbers to zero and adjust these values accordingly. I think you get the picture. Now, most of the time, if you ever want to do something like this, you have to do it at what's called the gateway level. And what that means is you'd have to get something like NMI and do all of your processing with NMI. But with NMI, you can't do Stripe and you can't do PayPal. So we've created the first time ever any technology that's ever existed to put load balancing and redundancy built into the app to protect you. Now, if you understand how serious this is, you're probably freaking out and saying, that right there is a reason I'm gonna be making the switch to GrooveSell, and I don't blame you. All right, now let's move on through the rest of the wizard. We're gonna click Save and Next, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna set up the content. So where does your sales take place? So we need to know that because we're gonna give you a tracking pixel to put there, and we also need to know where are you gonna send your default affiliate traffic? Well, for us, it's GrooveCard. Right? And then next, we need to say, what is the thank you page? And this has nothing to do with the funnel. This has to do with if a customer goes to support or into the customer portal and they're looking for the thank you page and eventually they will end up here. Uh, all right, so as we say, no, this is not where you're, where you're setting up your one-time offers or upsells. That's gonna be in the funnel over here. We're just asking, what is the final thank you page where you might have a download for the customer or something like that? So for right now, I'm just gonna put the thank you page the same for all of these. But you can also do this. You may realize that for the monthly plan is the same as a trial, but maybe you've given them a, a special download. If they take the annual plan, they also get this bonus download. So that's why we allow you to put a special download here. And you might even have, we'll just put BF there, a special thank you page that's separate for your Black Friday sale, right? They might have gotten not only a lower price, but additional bonuses that you needed to put on a different thank you page, and you didn't want that on your current thank you page. Folks, to set this up in other shopping carts is so difficult that you're, you're basically creating a new product every time you're creating a new price point. What we did is we just asked you how many price points do you have, and now all of these things are dynamically inserted inside of the process for us in the wizard. Fantastic. Next is the refund period. Now we default it here to zero, but we recommend putting in 30 days. We may have some things that'll give you some seals that you could put on your site, you know, little embed codes that'll automatically put your refund period in. Uh, and it'll probably say like powered by GroupSell with your affiliate link and things like that. But either way, what this is doing is it's telling our software when to release the commissions for the affiliates. So it's automatically gonna release the commissions into a new category from earned to pending so that you can then take the pending ones, download them, and then mark them as paid. Now, the buffer period allows you to put a waiting period before that goes from earned to pending and you can do seven days or 10 days or 15 days. And basically what that's doing is if we put a seven day buffer period, that means that if somebody's refunded ended on Friday and they decided that uh, they thought the first to be the first of the month was 30 days, but it really wasn't because there's 31 days in a month like January and maybe that really expired on Friday, but they showed up at your help desk on Saturday, thinking it's the first to the first. And then your help desk doesn't reply because maybe your help desk is off on Saturday and Sunday, or you're doing it and you don't reply till Monday, and you get back to them and you say now, three days later, hey, I'm sorry, when you put this in on Saturday, you were one day out of the refund, we're not getting you a refund. And then the customer says, hey, that's really not fair. And then the help desk person needs to bring it up to a supervisor and that goes back and forth for a few days. And then finally you decide, hey, the right thing to do is refund this customer and you issue them a refund. Okay, what you were actually able to do in that case is make sure that you were able to refund the customer before you pay the affiliate. So this is a buffer period. This is like, in case I have to refund the customer, I don't want to pay the affiliate. How much time do I want to be able to deal with these help desk issues? So we'll leave that at seven. That means you'll be paying your affiliates in 38 days. All right, let's move on. Save and next. All right, look at all the stuff you're getting here for your checkout. Now, you have four choices for your checkout. We're gonna have some previews here. This is if you are just gonna put a button and then send them over to a checkout uh, page. 
Okay, the other options that we're gonna have, you see they say coming soon, is we're gonna allow you to put a pop-up on your site and that will allow uh, them to just like pop. Check out very similar to like what you see with like Stripe or something like that, where they never leave your site. Or if you want to embed the checkout right on your roof page or your WordPress site or your ClickFunnels or any, any page that you want, uh, we're gonna give you a little embed code. Or if you wanna send it to your designer, some people like to design their own, we'll have that as well. All right, so right now we're just gonna say, let's give them a link that goes to GrooveSell and GrooveSell will hold, host the page for you. So we're gonna have about 20 of these designs that are already done right now. So this is, again, we're just in the beta. So you'll be able to see them all here and, and when you click uh, the preview, they'll, they'll show here and you'll get a design of what they look like. And you can get different colors to match your sites. This next one's pretty cool here. These are the different forms that you can collect. Now, you can say, I wanna collect all of this information from the person, okay? And when we add a custom field here, you might need to collect their username. Or in our case, we need to collect their store name when they're signing up so we could set up their GrooveCart store. So you could add as many custom fields as you want to the checkout, and it'll pass that data over to your CRM or whatever. And we'll show you how that works in a minute. Next is Express Checkout. If you want to do things like one-click upsells, you're certainly going to want to do that. And we have that. And then the difference between our one-click upsells choices that you have here is one will have confirmation and one is no confirmation. So if they click that button, they'll automatically be charged and sent to the thank you page or the upsell page. Okay. Now, if you um, want a, a confirmation, you would choose this option. And then what would happen here is if they click that button, a little pop-up will come up and say, are you sure you're about to be charged? And that's if you're having chargeback issues, you might want to use this option here. Next is card abandonment. Uh, you'll be able to add tags, right? Later to be used with something like GrooveMail, but you still might want to add tags now because you can send them over with our integrations feature to things like Active Campaign and MailChimp and things like that. So if you do want to add a tag, you can do that here or just tag them for later use when we later have GrooveMail to import them. You can start getting ahead of the curve there. Next is custom CSS tracking. This is really cool. Sometimes you're told uh, by the person that's handling your Facebook ads or if you're doing it yourself that you want to put a tracking code right on the checkout page that's actually hosted by the third party uh, software, which is us. So if your Facebook person says, hey, can you put this Facebook tracking pixel so I can track cart abandonment uh, you know, through Facebook and retarget those people? You would say, sure, give me the code and he would give you some Facebook code like this. And just like that, you now have, and obviously it wouldn't be that, it's just an example. You would have code now onto your, uh, your checkout page. Next, legal. Uh, this is really important. There are times when you get a merchant account and your merchant account company goes through your process and they see your checkout page and they say, uh, hey, I don't see your terms of service on the checkout page. We want it on every page in your funnel. And then with us, you simply come here and you come here and that's going to force them to have to tick a box that says, I agree to the terms of, or we'll just put the word like this here, just like that. And then what we would do is then say, let's insert a hyperlink and we're going to put our terms like that. And we're going to make that word say terms or terms of, of service. And I hit the insert button and just like that, they're gonna have to click a checkbox on checkout and you'll have your terms of service and you'll make your, your merchant account company happy. Languages, we're gonna launch only with English, but we will soon be having other languages and you can say that if you want it to be dynamic based on their country, we're, uh, we'll have Rosca compliance. That'll probably be beyond, you know, by the time uh, you get access to this or very, very soon. If you want to set up an exit pop where they're leaving the page, that'll trigger and it'll say, wait, are you sure you want to leave? We'll set that up here. And if you want to add any testimonials to the checkout page itself, you will do that here. So let's move on. The next feature we will have is to set up an order bump. And if you activate the order bump, what that will do is it will put a pre-transaction upsell, an order bump on your checkout page when they're checking out automatically. 
Again, it doesn't matter if you're using our page or the embed one or anything like that. If they were buying something for $97, by putting this on, you would have to create a product for it, but it would then ask you what product you want, and then it's gonna put a little box and you can have it pre-checked off or unchecked. And then it would say, yes, please add this additional extended warranty for $47. Or yes, I want installation. Or yes, please put me in the premium uh, member of the month club for $97 a year or $19 a month or whatever. That's known as an order bump. Normally 20 to 35% of your people will take the bump only because they're asked for it before they check out. This is a pre-transaction upsell, not a post-transaction upsell. This is like buying gum or a magazine while you're checking out at the grocery store. We're putting these little bump items that people say, oh, let me buy that, and it's before they pay. All right, we have three more to go before we're finished. So let's work on the fulfillment. Now, this is very simple. We have three different or four different prices, right? So this is saying, what happens when somebody buys through the trial? What happens when they buy the monthly plan, the annual, the Black Friday? And other than getting your thank you page, do you want us to give them an additional access page or a downloadable file that you'll be able to upload with us or integrate with one of the many membership site platforms out there like Kajabi, Teachable, WP Wishlist, all the, you know, all the AIM members, all the old ones and the new ones alike will all be in here. Now, some of them uh, don't integrate this way. Some of them integrate through webhooks. Or if you have your own technology or you're using your own type of software or backend that you need to set up what's known as a webhook or an IPN, that is just done right here. So in this case, every one of these would get a webhook. So I'm gonna set it up for the trial and I'll just paste in the Groovecart IPN and then I would have to do it here for each one of these, of course. We go here like this, add a new webhook. <clears throat> and now every one of these now has a webhook. But sometimes I'm not just giving them access to Groovecart, I'm also giving them access to Kajabi. So I might need to do something like go to Kajabi and find out what their IPN is. And we would do something like that and now they're gonna get access to their membership uh, in Kajabi or something like that. And if any time we need to delete one, we can just do something like that. But that's how you would set that up. Now the next one is very exciting. It's setting up the funnel. So let's move on to the funnels. Okay, GrooveSell is asking now, after a successful payment, what is the post-transaction URL? What URL or website link do you want to send the customer to after there's a successful payment? If you don't have an upsell, then you just leave it saying thank you page. This is the trial, the monthly, the annual, and the Black Friday sale. Okay, you just leave it, and then we're just gonna redirect them right to the thank you page. Or you might have an upsell. And if that's the case, you would come in here and then change it to an upsell, and now it's gonna ask you, what is your upsell page? And you would take your page from Groove Pages or ClickFunnels or Optimize Press or whatever you're using, Lead Pages, wherever your page is hosted. Obviously, you wanna be using Groove Pages. And you just paste that URL here. Now, I'm gonna do that for each one of these. And I'm gonna say every one of these has an upsell. And just like that, I can now set an upsell page for every one of these. Now, if I have a different upsell for Black Friday, I might have something like that, uh, you know, uh, a, sp a special page, or maybe the annual people already got one of the bonuses that I'm trying to upsell people for. So I might need a slightly different upsell page. I'll give you an example. Maybe the monthly people don't get a free ticket to GrooveCon, but the annual people do. But maybe there's also a second offer that I'm making the annual people. So I, I, I need to make another URL and place that here. So this particular upsell is not gonna mention GrooveCon because they've already gotten that by buying the annual plan and I don't wanna confuse them and make them think they're, think they're paying for something that they're not getting. I think you get the picture. Okay, I wanna show you something now that you may have noticed that says enable advanced tracking code. Now for this particular example, I'm gonna make a same thank you page or special offer upsell page 
for all these price points for this particular point to make the example. Okay, so now if you're managing your Facebook ads or the person that's managing your Facebook ads, they may wanna have the value after a sale is made and they might wanna do something like this, put some type of Facebook tracking code that says value equals 99. Uh, and it's more code than that, but basically, they want to know at this price point so they can track the ads when somebody buys uh, because you're getting different uh, return on your investment on Facebook depending on what price points people are taking. So if they were to tell you to put this tracking code on this thank you page, well then what do they do for the person that paid the annual at 497, right? So what we're doing is we're allowing you to put a code here on each one of these pages that's a little bit different depending the annual person paid 497 so we can put this value at 497 here and this person over here he paid 397 if you remember so we would change this so what's happening is instead of you having to put this code onto this page and you wouldn't be able to get this because you'd have to create four different pages uh, so that you, you can have different pixels fire for your Facebook guy. And that gets so confusing. You have a thank you page or a special offer page called special offer trial, special offer monthly, special offer annual, special offer dash BF, just because you're trying to fire off different uh, Facebook pixels. I know this is a little confusing, but trust me, your Facebook guy will love this. Basically, what this is saying is what we will do is after the customer buys, we will create an invisible page that will drop this value so it sends it back to Facebook or any tracking system for you. And then we will redirect the person to this URL. So you don't even have to put that tracking code on this page. We have a post-transaction page that will fire an advanced tracking code pixel for you automatically. I know I went a little bit long on that, but I really wanted to show you that. And finally, let's move on to one of the places where we shine like nobody else does, and that's the affiliate section. So we're gonna click Save and Next. Obviously, we wanna activate an affiliate program. In some cases, you don't. But here, 99% of the times, you do. Okay, the first thing we need to do is get your JV affiliate information page. Now, ours looks something like this, GrooveJV.com. All right, and this is where you give information about your your product or your launch or how they could sign up, how they make money. Uh, in fact, you should go to GrooveJV.com and sign up to become an affiliate with us. You can talk about your prizes, what you're giving away, where your swipe copies are. You, you get the drill. So I'm just going to copy this right here, close that, and I'm going to put that in. Now, this is also important because in our marketplace, if they click for more information, you want them going to this page, not just our page that says sign up here, right? And if you set up a two-tier affiliate program where you have JV brokers mailing to their hundreds or thousands of affiliates, their two-tier affiliate link will go here. You don't want to go into our generic page that just says sign up. You want to go into a page that sells people on signing up for your program. Now, we're now going to go over to the commission. Now, you'll notice not every one of these has an initial charge. You won't see it here. You won't see it here. You won't see it here. None of these have an initial charge because we didn't do a dollar trial. Only the trial has an initial charge, which is the trial. <coughs> so we're not going to pay anything on the initial charge. But if you wanted to tell people you're going to pay them a flat $5 for every trial, you could do something like that. But let's just leave that to zero. And let's just say that we're going to pay them 40% commission uh, for every sale that we make and a 10% uh, commission override to the JV broker. So this is known as a two-tier affiliate program. You're paying 50% to anybody that makes a sale and 10% if that person recruited this affiliate. Okay. And I'm not here to do training. If you don't get that, we'll talk about that more at another point. But let me show you something that's a little bit more interesting. And I'm going to do it over here on the monthly plan only because it doesn't have the dollar trial and there's a little bit more room here for me to make my point. Okay. So we can do things like this. Okay. For the first two charges, I want to pay 100% commission. And I'm just going to leave the JV broker out just for this example. Let's just talk to the affiliate. But we can always put this in at 10. But for right now, I'm just going to leave this out for this example. And that's it. That's my affiliate program. They only get paid on the first two payments. Or I could say this. I'm going to pay you for the first two payments, 100% commission. And then the next 10, I'm going to pay you 50% commission, and that's for the first year. So I would tell somebody for the first two payments, you're getting 100% of our $99, and then we're gonna pay you 50% 
after that. Now I could leave it blank. And that means I'm only paying them for the first year. Sometimes that's pretty good for a software company, right? You might, you don't want to pay somebody. I'm still getting an AWeber check for, you know, people that I promoted back in 2006 and they're still sending me money. Now GroovePages has decided to pay for our launch 40% per, uh, commit, 40% commission for life. Okay, uh, but if we only wanted to pay the first year, we could do something like this. Okay, and then even on top of that, we're not done. I can just keep going like, like this and then saying for the next and just leave it blank forever, I'm going to pay you a 10% commission. So again, how would that look? The first two $99 charges, you'd get a full 100% commission. Then for the rest of the year, the next 10 payments in the year, I'll pay you 50%. And then after that, you'll get 10% for life. I could just keep going on and on and on and just adding more of these different steps. Nobody has ever had a flexible program like that. I'm going to delete this and show you one more way that I could have made this very interesting as well. I could have said, we're doing a dollar trial and I'm going to pay you $5 for every dollar trial. And then I'm going to pay you 100% commission for the, the first three charges. I'm going to pay you 100%. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay you for the rest of the year, the next nine payments, I'm going to pay you 50% commission. And then I could just leave it like that. Or I could even say, and then after that, I'm going to pay you a 10% commission forever. I just leave that blank and that's until the customer cancels. All right. So again, that means I would have this crazy affiliate program. We're giving you prizes and for every dollar trial, you get a $5 bounty. And then I'm going to pay you hundred percent commission on the first three payments. And then after that, for the next nine payments, rounding out the rest of the year, you're going to get 50% commission. And then for life, you'll continue after the first year to get a 10% commission. All I'm demonstrating to you here is the power that we have here to create very flexible affiliate programs. Okay very, very flexible affiliate programs. A standard affiliate program would look just something like this. For life, 40%. Each price plan is different. So the annual, remember that was 888. So you're going to set up different commission plans for every price plan. All right, let's move on. So we've done the, the JV page. We've done the commissions. Now we want to do commission overrides. You've got that guy that you met at an event and they have a list of 60,000 people. And what you want to do is you you don't want to, you know, they said, look, I don't promote anything for 40%. Uh, I want at least 60% for anybody that I promote and maybe, or you just decide to offer them 50 or 60 or 70% commission. You go into what we have here, the commission overrides, right? So now you're going to choose uh, the different plans. I'm just going to choose the monthly one, but you would set one up for each price point for that person. Let's just do the monthly. Okay. I'm going to set up a commission override for that person. And I'm going to set this person up here at 70%. Okay. And I'm now going to search for him. He has to be a Groove Cell member. Let's say that person was one of these names here, Omar Martin, right? I would just click on Omar Martin here and I click add. I might also want to add, let's say Matt Seralta. Then I do that. Now, both of these people have this. Now, if I want to pay another person 60%, not quite that, I click add and I get another one down here. I would change that to 60 and I would put uh matt nouse here at 60. so i'm setting up different um different programs for special affiliates that that i want to pay a little bit more they're like extra bonuses for certain people if i want to delete any of those i just click delete and we can get rid of any additional programs like for instance i can get rid of this particular one here by just clicking delete and it's gone and i just have the 60 percent all right now let's move on and let's talk about our custom landing pages all right, so this one can't be changed. This is the default page that all traffic we said in the beginning when I filled out the contents that all the affiliate links go to GrooveCart. But I might wanna have additional landing pages, right? So I'm gonna create a landing page called Webinar, okay? And that might be at this URL, right? Because we gotta say where, where should that affiliate link go? Then we're gonna click on add a new landing page. And we're gonna create one, we're gonna call it the VSL right? And that maybe goes to VSL. I'm going to create another landing page. This one might be called a uh, demo. And so that would maybe would go here and maybe I'm doing a sale and that sale is called black Friday. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> and just making up a link here. That might be something like that. And again, this is for all affiliates, but I also want to add a landing page because I'm doing a special webinar with, uh, with just one person. So this would be only for on loop. Okay. Like that. And so this is a, let's say, uh, on roof webinar, right? It's, you know, sometimes you do a webinar just for certain people and I don't want all my affiliates promoting that. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to say this landing page here, uh, is only available for on roof. And that means when my affiliates go to look for their links, they're going to see links for all of these. They'll have a link for this, 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 and this, but they won't see this. But when Unroop logs in, he'll see links for all of these and this as well. Now, that should make sense for you if you're familiar with, uh, uh, with you know, affiliate programs. This stuff is usually very difficult to set up, but as you can see, this is all very easy to set up just in the wizard. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit save and next and we're finished and now it gives me some code that I can copy and I could put that code onto my groovecart.com website and that's going to allow us to do tracking and give you some better stats on conversions like how many hits you've got to the website this tracks how many page visits that you get and then we divide that by the number of sales or the number of sales by your, your page visits and we can give you your, your conversion percentage so we click save and next and what we then see now is that inside of our uh, product funnel, we now have that product called Groovecart, right? And if I wanted to add another uh, product inside of this funnel, I'm not gonna do that now, but uh, it now I would now go create my upsell, right? For GrooveCon, like, hey, do you wanna join us at GrooveCon? But I'm gonna back out of that right now because we don't need to set up another product, but uh, in this demo, but I think you get the understanding of the power, the ease, and the simplicity of GroupSell. I hope you like this demo, and we'll talk to you soon. We hope you enjoyed that demo, and by all means, please head over to GrooveJV.com to learn about how to help us promote Group Pages and GroupSell and all of our future Groove apps. Thank you very much. Have a great day.